I'm here as the CEO of Uma Connected. Who is Uma Connected? Uma Connected is a civil society. It's a civil society, it's a civil organization. It's based in the United Kingdom. Founded in May 2020 in COVID. Alhamdulillah. Praises, praises be to Allah who guided us. Founded by a group of Ugandans led by me. And my name is Zaid Mahbub Kasujia Simakalu. I live in London, but uh, I'm a son of this country, and I will always be. Our objectives, our main objective is to contribute to the Islamic reawakening and to improve the socio-economic welfare of Muslims and humanity at large. For the objectives and the mission, you can look into the flyers. Why did we, uh, we sat down and we thought about this organization, but why? As noted in the vision and explained in the mission and objectives, the purpose is to serve humanity. Our purpose is to serve humanity in all different aspects of life. We are here to serve humanity, not just Muslims. Hence, this book. It's not for just Muslims, it's for everyone. We are, as UMA Connected, we want to empower and bridge the gap of the different social and economic groups, be it ethnic, tribal, religious, economic, we just want to bridge that gap. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to do so. Among our achievements, in our short history, it's been two years and a half, in our short history of existence, we have conducted virtual classes through Zoom sessions, and we have an online academy called Uma Connected Academy. We teach different subjects aimed at community building and community development. We have held many different sessions connected with, with women issues, particularly the position of a woman in Islam in view of the contemporary negative arguments against Islam vis-a-vis -vis the position of a woman. We, as Umar Connected, have been able to fund projects, different projects, such as building hostels of needy children in the different parts of the country. We have funded new uh, hostels for converts, for new converts. We have managed to buy, uh, to secure four acres of uh, Muslim cemetery in Mitiana. We have supported different media uh, groups such as Thraya Islamic Media in developing their studio to enable them carry out the active, the, the, the effective our acti activities. On the health side, we have provided resources for the treatment of cancer victims, cancer patients. We had about three women, uh, and they were victims of cancer, Elizabeth, Dafara. Unfortunately, Dafara died Elizabeth died, and a young girl, she was 12, she's 12 years old, she had a trauma, a tumor, uh, but alhamdulillah, she's still uh, breathing. Uh, 
uh, and we are still treating her. May Allah enable us to uh, see her through. And another, uh, we, we, we have also had a series of prominent Muslims like Hajj, Mutumba, Selikum Mutumba, highlighting their chronicles to help, to help us, to help the young Muslims, to help the young Ugandans build models for the young Muslims to emulate. In connection with the function that has gathered us here today, we are launching a book about the history of Islam in Uganda. We take it as our biggest achievement so far that will act as a springboard to achieve more in our journey to provide humanity with the rightful sources of information about Islam. Uma connected in conjunction with Crane Books and distinguished Muslim researchers and writers have managed to collect and assemble this information into a historical book, which is about the history, our history, that Dr. Abdul Hafiz has been talking about. And Alhamdulillah, today our dream has come true. It is our desire, it is indeed our desire that you accept it as it is. Read it, critique it, and advise us for its improvement. We are open to receive advice, positive criticism, and any other information that would enrich the book. We are hopeful that the record will help to readdress some of the, some of the uh, unfortunate historical mistakes, as the doctor has stated it. Mistakes about Idi Amin, mistakes about Mutesa One, mistakes about Nuh uh, Mbogo, mistakes about Islam. We really hope that this book will correct those mistakes and reconcile some of the positions taken against Islam and Muslims of Uganda due to lack of correct information. Uma Connected, as the name suggests, is picked from the message given to Ibrahim as the grandfather of all believers. So the word Uma means humanity. The word Uma means humanity. And for our purpose, it means serving humanity. Uma connected means serving humanity, connecting humanity. In relation to this, another message from the Quran says that indeed this nation is one nation and I am your Lord, so worship me. And in Ibrahim Kana Umma, Ibrahim was a nation. And we all agree that Ibrahim was is and will always be a grandfather to all believers, isn't it? So if he is uh, the grandfather to all believers, he was a nation. And Uma connected, we are following into his footsteps to connect his nation. And that includes everyone in here. Includes the sheikhs, the, the, the archbishops, the pastors, the reverends, everyone white and black. I would like to thank our chief guest. Stretching from his grandfathers, in fact, not his grandfather, his grandfathers. Because his grandfather, 
is one of the uh, founders, is the one who received Islam and took it upon himself to spread it around the country. And that he, his names were Mutesa the first. He was a brother to Nokumbogo, who is the, who fathered Prince Badruka Kunguru, who fathered the prince that is the guest of honor today. The guest of honor, Prince Nachiwingi, has established civil education institutions. Taking on, following in uh, his father's in his father's uh, footsteps, he has provided land to hospitals such as Chibuli, which is a fully fledged hospital now. He has donated land to uh, different institutions such as IUIU Kampala and high schools. Indeed, we are so grateful, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you healthy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you Jannah. We would like to thank the authors. The authors whom I would like to call people in the kitchen, who have cooked for us this beautiful book. Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them because we can't pay them. As, from, as the promoters, as um, the people that ask them to do the research, we can't pay them. They've done a lot for us. The value to it is priceless. That team there is led by Hajj Mustafa Mjawa who is seated in his wheelchair. He's the chairman of the authors. Next to him is Dr. Badr Hassan Segudja. Next to him is Dr. Ali Nkonge. Uh, Ali Nkonge is here. Uh, then Dr. They're all doctors, fortunately. All doctors. Dr. Hassan Mutagubia. And Sheikh. The funniest character among us to them. Um, on the same note, we sincerely thank those who have supported us financially in the process of, this, of producing this book. We shall remain indebted to you. We thank all guests present for honoring our invitation. Without you, the function would have been meaningless. Finally, I thank the team, the young team of the people organizing this function, who we have worked with in preparation of this function. Well done, and may God reward you. I would like, lastly, I would like to thank the hotel management, Hajj, especially Hajj Harun Chibirige, who honored his brother's offer, the late Hajj Ibrahim Mohara Chibirige. When I spoke to him about this book and about the launch, he promised me and he offered this hall. That was a year, that, that was a year and a half ago. He told me, son, the hall will be free. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he passed away. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him for this. So Haji, Haj Harun Chibirige, when I, when I told him about it, he told me, son, if he promised you that, I'll give it to you. And alhamdulillah, we are here. Uh, the hall is free. 
alhamdulillah i would like to honor i can't i can't it will be disrespectful my my um, father aj mahbub kasuja samakal pastor way he would have been here he loved history but my uncle that follows him who has guided me through my years he has guided this nation he has been an angel for the for the uh, muslims in this country he seated behind there behind you your excellency that is my uncle who follows my father ahaj fazil jingo kasuja you read about him in the book i promise you on behalf of umar connected that we know what she stand for and we know is serve you eno ye salam tv